hello from another snowy day here in North Iceland and I figured that a uh, day like this is just perfect for me to go through some old footage and photos from previous winters and kind of talk about and uh, show you guys what the uh, ski season here in Iceland is really like and what you can expect if you are planning your next ski adventure here and so without any further ado let's just jump straight into it Traveling to Iceland isn't cheap, not to mention if you are bringing all your gear with you. That means that you will want to get the most out of your time here as possible. Which brings us into the first part of the year, which I think you should completely avoid if your travel time is limited. And that's between November until end of January. The reason for that is that during those months we only get a couple of hours of daylight and so there isn't that much time to go out and you don't really have an option to wait for the weather windows. Moreover, the beginning of the winter is more prone to bad stormy weather and so the chances of you being stuck somewhere inside during a snowstorm for even multiple days in a row are that much higher. Sure, you can go out at night and ski with a headlight and I have honestly had some of the best powder days in this time of the year but I would not recommend doing that unless you know the terrain very well. The snow base isn't really there yet and there are many rocks hidden under thin layer of snow. On the other hand, what I think makes skiing here during these months really special, and that's mainly in January when days start getting longer, is that the sun is sitting very low on the horizon and the light, even though it's limited, is absolutely gorgeous. The period from February until end of March is in my opinion the best time to come if you want to try to hunt some arctic powder. There is already more daylight and the snow cover is more consistent as well. That being said, this is still Iceland we are talking about and so you can never really know what weather you will get until few days before your planned ski vacation. You can have a week full of sunny weather or just full on stormy weather with a very bad visibility. Same goes for the snow. There can be many bluebird powder days in a row, or you can experience just an awful conditions when everything is hard as a concrete and you can't really ski anything. There has been a lot of serious injuries last year when people underestimated the terrain and often tumbled down the whole mountain faces. One thing worth mentioning is also the floodlight conditions that Iceland is not really known for and this applies for all of the winter months. Note that there are no trees and so when it gets cloudy you will be literally skiing blindly into the unknown. Now not everybody will agree on this, but in my opinion the best time to come and ski in Iceland is around May and April. That's a spring skiing time. Why I think this is the best time for anyone thinking of coming skiing in Iceland, especially for the first timers, is simply because the weather is just much more stable and it is more likely that you will have a good day out skiing. It often takes a lot of good local knowledge to find a good powder and safe conditions during the winter months. But in the spring, on the other hand, you can ski pretty much anything and it is all mostly safe. You still have to be aware of wet slab avalanches and shaded slopes being frozen before sun hits them, but these conditions are generally much more easy to navigate. The trade-off in the season is that you will often have to boot back to get to the snow and you won't be always able to finish your run right next to your car. But all in all I think that's still very much worth it. The temperatures are much higher as well and so you will be able to enjoy those amazing views from the top for much longer. Alright so as I'm finishing up the video I just noticed that I should have probably mentioned that you cannot really draw uh, solid lines in between the uh, each season. Like every year is really different and for example I think it was two years ago we had a year when we were skiing uh, until end of July and like in contrast to that uh, this year it's been a very bad season at least from what I've heard and seen and I just came back to Iceland a couple of days ago and I can really see how uh, bony it is out there and there isn't really <laughs> proper base on the bottom but all in all skiing in Iceland is like really broad topic and I cannot wait to dive into it and uh, well hopefully I can share with you the knowledge that I collected over the past few years. But yeah guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.